Cursor AI versus Claude. Now, there are tons of AI coding assistants out there. However, choosing the right one that is best suited for your specific needs, that is the thing. Today, we're going to put them head to head. We want to know which one is best suited. So let's dive in. Okay, so looking at Cursor now, you can actually supercharge your coding workflow. Cursor AI is quite a powerful tool. It aims to transform your coding experience in a whole. It offers a wide range of intelligent features that are actually designed to boost your productivity and enhance your code quality. At the core of Cursor AI, it actually uh, has the ability to integrate seamlessly within a familiar coding environment. This also allows you as a developer to access advanced tools as well as functionality without disrupting um, your already established workflows. It also leverages the power of AI and provides intelligent code completion, smart code improvement suggestions, and other more advanced capabilities. These features, of course, work together to help develop um, uh, a cleaner, uh, more efficient code. Ultimately, it will streamline your coding process and your output will be of better quality. So whether you are an experienced programmer or you are just starting out your coding journey, Cursor AI does have the potential to elevate those coding skills and accelerate your project delivery. It's got a user-friendly interface and cutting-edge technology. It is poised to become an invaluable asset in your coding toolkit. Let's have a look at one or two more features. So um, the AI code completion and smart code improvement, this is pretty big. So it has predictive multi-line code. So it anticipates your next lines based on your recent changes. It also does this based on your recent projects. Um, it also optimizes your code structures within one click, and then it transforms loops into more efficient patterns, and it can clean up duplicated or even unnecessary code. Does it have any limitations? Yes, of course. Um, uh, some of the suggested changes may introduce subtle bugs, or um, it may also ignore project conventions. Um, it is cloud dependent, so... It does, of course, raise some privacy concerns. There have been some performance issues in the past. If you're um, dealing with very large or um, unusual code bases and then um, there are tons of tools and, you know, with all the suggestions that are being made while you're coding, it can overwhelm you slightly if that's not an environment that you are used to. Right, so Claude has actually been around for quite a while. Um, Claude actually helps developers write better code faster. The AI assistant generates production quality code in multiple languages while explaining complex concepts uh, in a simple or more clearer format. The other things um, that they offer is their production level code. Um, it creates working solutions across multiple programming languages with impressive accuracy. They have error identification, which quickly spots bugs and explains the underlying issues within the um, error in plain language. It also has platform adaption. Um, it adapts code to different environments and frameworks with customized solutions. The last thing that I just want to touch on here is one or two of their limitations. Okay, so um, it does struggle with complex specialized frameworks. Also, their solutions often need um, refinement through feedback and it also may include unnecessary information in some of its responses so um slight bit of an hallucination i think and and this happens ever so often it's not a major problem but this is a bit of an issue um if you are working with more complex uh frameworks and there you go, ladies and gentlemen, both of the software that we had a look at now is fantastic. However, the key takeaway, as I always say, is to make sure that you're going and using the software. You want to know if it actually works for you. Um, this video is aimed at guidance and um, just to give you a bit of an insight as to what features each one of them have. If this was enjoyable, drop us a like and we'll see you next time.